Welcome, watchers of illusion, to the castle of confusion. Phase across time with us once more, for this is the age of adventure. I, Treyguard, master of the dungeon, give you audience. Watch now, you armchair adventurers, while others braver than yourselves challenge the secrets of my lair. A quest is now in progress. So here's a progress report. From Lancashire came Maeve and friends, their wits they used to valiant ends. But though they braved the beasts and bombs and Granitas's stony stare, they still forgot a vital clue and met their doom in Lilith's lair. And a nasty fall it was too. When Lanx was doomed, then Yorkshire rose. These lads are now the dungeon's foes. They've already had a big surprise. Can there be worse? And now time turns, the fire burns, time out is gone. The quest is on. Now where am I? You're on the edge of a ledge. There's a, a deep gap in front of you, and across from you, there's a woman sitting on a rock. At last! At last! My champion! It's somewhat smaller and weaker than I expected. But nevertheless, bearing my favour, name yourself Paladin. Simon Nichols, my lady. Welcome, Simon. <laughs> Treyguard, your presence and opinions are not tolerated here. I hear you, Lilith. In this time and in this place alone, I accept your sovereign. Excellent. <sighs> Now, Simon, you and I are in need of closer consultation. So, rock to rock and stone to stone, span the pit and cross the zone. <laughs> Come to Lilith, my young warrior, and don't delay, or the pit may claim you. Right, go forward. Quickly. Quickly. Go on. Stop! That is close enough. You may give me my favour. Oh! Now, Simon, with what weapons are you armed? None, my lady. None? Well, that is hardly satisfactory. Especially considering the task I must give you. Listen. Ahead of you, through the serpent's mouth, lies a chamber which is occupied by a catacombite. This creature, if creature you can call it, belongs to the lower levels. But some spiteful sorcerer has brought it up here especially to annoy me. Its presence so near is very distressing. Now, since you have no weapons, you cannot kill the catacombite, but I want you to neutralize it for me. For this purpose, I gift you a spell. It is called Freezer. I'm sure Treyguard, that meddlesome dungeon master, will tell you how to use it as soon as he can. Now, in anticipation of your success, I will tell you that the safest pathway from the chamber is through the third door from the right. And as an added reward, I gift you a second spell. It is called Flare, and conquers darkness for a while. Now, be gone. Do my bidding, and you have some chance of success. Now listen most carefully, team, for the casting of even minor spells is a ticklish business, and must be performed according to the ritual, lest the magic misfires and the spell turns upon you. One of you here, amongst the advisors, must take the role of spellcaster. To invoke the magic, the chosen one must call out in a loud, clear voice, spellcasting, followed by the letters of the spell in the right order. Once used, some spells must be dismissed, lest the effect turn upon the dungeoneer. The chant here is, dispel. 
followed by the right letters, but in the wrong order. Now decide, which of you shall become spellcaster? You have decided? Yep. Good. Then I think you'd better assist your dungeoneer to leave this chamber whilst there is still life force. Turn right. Go forward. Stop. Turn a bit left. Stop. Go forward. Farewell, Simon. Farewell! Now where am I? Simon, for goodness sake, don't go any closer. You're relatively safe as long as you stay put. This is a catacomb bite which Lilith spoke of. It has no intelligence or self-will, but is virtually indestructible and must be neutralized by magic. Monsters in front of you. Spell casting. F. R. E. E. Z. E. R. Well done, team, but remember, the creature is only neutralized. Even a brush against it can do untold harm. Guide your dungeoneer with care, but don't linger. Go forward. Stop. Take a... a go left. Forward. Stop. Turn right. Go forward. Stop. Take a small step to your right. Go forward. Crouch, Simon. Crouch. Avoid contact at all costs. Crouch down. Go forward. Stop. Go. Go left. Go forward. Turn right. Go forward. Now where am I? You did not. Warning, hold. team. Lilith was not to be trusted. She has sent you into the great corridor of the catacomb. This is patrolled by the army of the dead. Exit with haste. Simon, if you have the key, hold it up before you, but make sure it's the right door. Hurry now, or your quest ends here. Hold the key up so we can see it. And see it? Yeah, there's four doors, each one's got a symbol in front of it. And to your right, there's the... Hey, forward. Yeah, go forward. Stop. Turn right. Go forward. Where am I? I don't know. It, the screen's totally blank. Let's see if it's there. Spell casting. F. L. A. R. E. Oh, it was that. Right. There's a, um... You're in a room with a well in the middle. Quickly, team, while the flare lasts, you have discovered a well-way to the next level. The number of levels to this dungeon isn't precisely known, even by me. But escape and eventual success lies in the lowest. Go forward. Quickly. Right there, right. Go down. Go up. Where am I? You're in a room on front of, in front of you, sat on a bench or something. There's a man that looks like a monk. By the side of him, there's a table. He's holding... Warning, his... team! A life force energy level is low. Simon is in no condition for combat. This is a level two malignant. Losing here would be fatal. How to you, dog's bottom! <laughs> Listen! Adventuring cur, I guard these halls. Face me, 
or the right path is closed to you. Now listen, team. The level two guards are notoriously rude and vulgar, but cannot attack you until you fail to answer their riddles. Simon, you must challenge him by saying, I challenge. Even though your energy level is critical, you mustn't touch any food until you've defeated him. I challenge. Challenge accepted! <laughs> Weak, mewling, awful brain fool! I have three riddles, and truth I seek. One truth will pass you. Two may aid you. Three commands my allegiance. Fat chance of that, dog's bottom! <laughs> right! Are you ready? Yep. And here is my first. A prince of Islam on his day held all of Christendom at bay. To Moorish hordes he was Salah ad-Din. But how today do we name him? Is he, um, no. Um, um is it Buddha? Is it that? Is that Muhammad or you, Ali? Can you Ali. repeat it? Pardon? Ask him to repeat the riddle. Can you repeat it, please? You want me to repeat the riddle? Yes. I will repeat once. A prince of Islam on his day held all of Christendom at bay. To Moorish hordes he was Salah ad-Din. But how today do we name him? It's something like Mohammed. Uh, what, what did I say? Mohammed. What did I say? One riddle, one answer. Yeah. Name it. Yeah. Say Mohammed. Mohammed. Falsehood! Saladin was the truth I sought. Here is my second. Red fought white, and white fought red. Great houses fought while England bled. But answer as my riddle poses. Who fought each other over roses? Lancashire and Yorkshire. Yorkshire and Lancashire. Yorkshire and Lancashire. Truth accepted. York and Lancaster were the truths I sought. Here is my third. Where falls the blow that harms you not, yet ends the state of common man? Can to repeat it. Can you repeat it, please? Once. Where falls the blow that harms you not, yet ends the state of common man? One riddle, one truth. Name it. I don't know. I've no idea. Um, Edge. Falsehood. On the shoulder. The sword dub of knighthood was the truth I sought. One's the score. So pass on, lame brain. I'll take the grub. <laughs> you won't be needing it where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> Exit with haste, Dungeoneer. Go forward. Turn right. Go forward. Turn left. Stop. Go forward. Now where am I? You're at the top of a flight of stairs. Shuffle forward, just till your feet's over the edge. Yeah, I can feel it. Right, move Warning, to... Warning, team. Life force energy level critical. You must find food immediately. Move to your right till you feel the banister. Yeah, right, go open. down. Right, go forward, straight away. Ah, yeah. Right, go to your left. Right. There's some food. Take the food. Got it. There's also a key, some pills, and a snuff box. Yeah. Right. Um, 
It's, a go it's about a gold. Oh, it's a The engineer, here be objects of interest. But if you're still carrying any level one objects, you should abandon them here before collecting those from level two. Level one objects cannot help you now and may even prove harmful. Uh, but don't waste time. I sense the presence of a sentient being. Harmless or not, I cannot tell. Right. Um, this, this key's got loads of... Hey! Hey, watch it! You don't drop me! It's the key, mate. Hey! <laughs> what are you doing? Ask it what it is. What are you? I'm Casper! Casper the key! That's me! This or not, knucklehead! Merlin made me like this because he kept losing me! I'm sort of lost and found, so to speak. Hey, what's your name, then? Um, Simon Nichols. Silly name. Well, I'm as good as Casper. Hey, you hang on to me, and I'll come in handy. But carry me carefully, and don't bang me about. Right. Come on. Right, take the key, then. Careful. <laughs> right, what uh, else? Right, there's a bar of gold and a box of pills. Um, should we take the pills? Yeah, I think we should. T take the pills. OK. OK? Yeah. Right, turn to your right. Go forward. Stop. Stop. Right. Uh, take a step to your right. Go forward. Come on, come on. Now where am I? You're in a room. Five. On the wall opposite, there's five doorways. A, key, a keyhole keeps appearing in each one. There's a handle up on hey, What fun! It's the old moving keyhole trick. Hey, I can do this, I can do this. Hey, listen up, fumble fingers. If you want to beat the clock, just hold me up before the lock. I gotta move on. Right, go forward. Right, that's just a minute, stop. That's right, that's right. Look, can you uh, uh, move to your right? Move to your right, go on. No, to your left. To your left. No, no. There. there. That's, right. Oh, hold Forward. It. Hold me up. Hold me up. Hold me up. Quick, quick. Now where am I? You're in a big room. It looks a bit like a library. And in front of you on the floor, there's there's three blocks. There's a chair. Ew! Um, it's another puzzle. Yeah, I love puzzles. Right. Um, turn to your right. Go forward. You might be able to feel the first block. Oh, yeah. Stop. Too. Right. Right next to that on the right, there's another block. If you look. Down on the floor, it's smaller. Oh, yeah. Time yeah. To put, the pills down. Um, put, put down the pills. And the key. On top of the first block. This one? Yeah. And the key. So you've got your hands free. Mm hmm. Careful. Hey. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Stand. There's the. Bend down and touch that block. Yeah. Right, stand it up so it's on its smallest end. You s no, no, the other way. Tip it to your right. No, tip it to your right. Tip it, that's it. Tip all. it, tip it. Ah. Tip it so that's your left it, hand's up. It, right, it. yeah. Right, that was it. M slide it up against the other block. This block. Very yeah. good. Hey, right. Come on, come on, there's come on. Another, there's another block here. Yeah. Yeah. Just lift that up and put it on top of the block you've just moved. Right. Well done. Oh dear, oh dear, what a splitting headache. Now, who on earth or under it is responsible for disturbing me? Well, well, come on, come on. Who are you? What are you called? Simon Nichols. Ah, Simon. So, one good name deserves another. Uh, my name is, uh, uh... Just a minute, it's... It's on the tip of my tongue. Merlin. Uh, yes, my name is Marlin. Uh, no, that sounds too fishy. Merlin. Uh, Merlin! Uh, that's it. Uh, yes, Merlin. Yes, my name is Merlin. Well, uh, Give him the key. welcome to uh, the Hall of Folly. Uh, nothing to do with anyone else of that name you might meet. Well, not much to do with him, <laughs> at any rate. Here, you must find wisdom or depart a fool. Oh! I see you found Jasper, the key. It's not Jasper, it's Casper! Casper with a C, that's me! Shut up, chatterbox. Your name's Jasper, or my name's not Merlin. Oh, I've just remembered my name's... 
is Merlin. Yes, of course it is. Yes, my name is Merlin. Well, if you found Caspar, uh, Simon, uh, you must have found my headache pills. Uh, yeah. They were with him. Um, just place them down before you, please. There. Thank you. Thank you, Simon. Well, it's a good start, but you must do better. The deep spells I recall, but the elementary magic I have forgotten. Jog my memory three times, and a little magic is yours. Here, then, is my first, and we'll make it really simple. What was the prince of the pond? The toad. What would it frog? Frog, yeah. Frog. Truth accepted. Here is my second. A common magic, far from grand, removes small blemishes from one's hand. <laughs> oh dear, this one's so easy it's embarrassing. So, But I must insist yeah. on the answer, please. So, so. Could you say that again, please? So. Falsehood. What charming was the truth I sought. And now, here, finally, is my third. She rides at night on broomstick flight and cooks her spells in a cauldron black. Her robe is dark, her eyes are bright. But what precisely is her cat? Black, black, black cat. Black. A familiar, black familiar, is it? Ah, ah. A black familiar. Familiar? Truth accepted. Two is the score. You have avoided outright folly. And so I will gift you two small spells. The first is called anvil and is offensive in nature. It is also rather hasty. The second is called lantern. The way ahead is open to you, but the path is perilous. Somewhere ahead of you lies Mogdred, my alter ego. He is the dark side of my nature and of my magic and must be overcome. Farewell. Turn to your left. Go for... No, go forward. Stop. Turn to your left. Turn forward. Warning team, a complete temporal disruption approaching. Time is now the enemy. Oh dear, a temporal disruption complete. A time flies, as the Romans would say. And although all continues in your world, here time has flown. All adventuring must now cease until you phase with us once more. Will our team triumph in adversity? Or will the dungeon win once more? And if so, why should you care? For here, nothing is real, and all must surely be an illusion. Join us again for Nightmare. And just keep telling yourself, it's only a game, isn't it? <laughs> After the break, the brain buzz kicks off with Bruce's Price is Right, followed by Play Your Cards Right, that's at 8.30. So all you digital satellite viewers, get ready to press the red button and play along absolutely free. <laughs> <laughs> 